here is a very tricky question from balancing of chemical reactions we have to balance this chemical reaction generally the methods that uh, we are taught is the ion electron method and oxidation number method but it will be too tedious to solve using either of the methods because uh, none of the methods clearly give us any uh, algorithm to find the stoichiometric coefficient of the counter ions or the spectator ions that is the ion source oxidation number is not changing and those ions are in plenty in this example see here OH minus ion then NO3 ion NO3 minus ion nitride ion so and the coefficients will also be too large so it will be too tedious to solve using either of the methods so I have devised a particular method to solve questions like this where we have plenty of spectator ions so let me proceed first we have to write the oxidation number here Fe is present in plus 2 oxidation state here it will be in plus 3 oxidation state so here it is oxidized then here carbon is present in plus 2 oxidation state nitrogen in minus 3 we have to know this from the structure once we know the structure we can find out and here um, carbon is present in uh, 3 to the 6 minus 2 plus 4 oxidation state the charge of CO3 is minus 2 charge uh, and here the NO3 minus charge is 1 so here it will be present in plus 5 oxidation state 6 minus 1 5 here cerium is present in plus 3 oxidation state and here it is present in plus 4 oxidation state and no more oxidation state is changing only this atom's oxidation state is changed I'm not including this nitrogen because this nitrogen's oxidation state is not being changed now I have to write the oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction so oxidation half reaction will be what is being oxidized K4 Fe Cn whole 6 and that is being oxidized into Fe 2 plus 2 Fe 3 plus I will not write it in ionic form because if I write it in ionic form then there will be a burden of spectator ions so I will write it in the molecular form so that I can tackle with the spectator ions very easily now Fe3 plus then here carbon is oxidized so K2CO3 and KNO3 now I have to balance this so first here see we will uh, the method is that we will first balance the atoms whose oxidation number is being changed and if we have excess of the atom especially the spectator ions then we can add uh, generally we are taught that we have if we have excess oxygen we can add water and if we have excess H then we can add H plus so I have to generalize that means I am generalizing that H plus to other ions whose oxidation number is not being changed see here potassium's oxidation number is not changed K plus so if I see that potassium is in exchange so I can add K plus ions to neutralize that so that is the main trick here so first I will balance the atoms whose oxidation number is being changed carbon so here carbon is 6 I will write here 6 I will write here 6 nitrogen is also balanced carbon is balanced iron is balanced now the main atoms whose oxidation number is being changed I have balanced that now I have to balance the potassium see here potassium is 4 and here potassium is 6 to the 12 12 plus 6 it is 18 and here it is 4 so I have to add 14 more potassium I will add it in the form of potassium plus ion so 14 plus 4 18 and here it is also 18 now oxygen is excess so here it is 3 6 3 is 18 mm. and here it is 6 3 is 18 so 36 plus 3 39 uh, 6 3 is 18 yes so I have to add here 39 water molecules and once I add 39 water molecules here then I will add H plus ions but I have to see here H plus ions is not being present here the total number of H plus ions that is being present is 9, 18, 36, 7 and here it is 3 see here no more H plus is present so I have to add total 75 H plus here 75 H plus and since this reaction has OH minus so I will also add 75 OH minus ions so that 75 OH minus so that this remains in basic medium on both sides I am adding 75 OH minus ions 
Now I will count the number of electrons that is to be added. See here that we have to balance the charge. Here the total charge is uh, 75 minus 14. So here it is 61 charge. And here see here 61 negative charge. And here the net charge is 0. So I have to add 61 electrons here. Now the thing that we uh, must remember to cross check our answer is that it is oxidation half reaction. So in oxidation there is loss of electrons, oil rig. So in oxidation since there is loss of electrons, see, react, uh, electrons are written in the product side signifying that there is a loss. Also we can check the number of electrons also. See here Fe is changed from plus 2 to plus 3. So 1 then carbon is changed from 2 to 4. So here the net change is 2 for each carbon and total 2 into 6 12 and nitrogen is changed from minus 3 to plus 5 so 8 and for 6 8 6 are 48 and when we will add then we will get 61 and this 61 is the number that I have written here so this thing we can do to cross check that we have written our reaction correctly or not so Similarly, now I will write the reduction half reaction. Reduction half reaction is not that difficult. So, for that, uh, we know that CeNO3,4, this is being changed to CeOH full thrice. So, that is the net change. Now, I will first balance. See, this nitrate ion is the counter ion here. So, I am free to add nitrate ions. So here 4 nitrate ions is there. Let me add 4 NO3 minus. And when I add 4 NO3 minus here, now I will deal with oxygens. Here the number of oxygen is uh, here. See extra 3 OH minus is there. So simply I can write here 3 OH minus. Now the number of electrons that I have to add is minus 3 minus 4. So here I have to add 1 electron. And since it is reduction, reduction is gain of electrons. See electron is being gained because it is written in the reactant side and the number of electron we can cross check from the change in oxidation number it is changing from plus 4 to plus 3 so our calculation says that one electron must be required and see one electron is required so that is it we have written the half reactions now we will cross multiply here it is 1 here it is 61 so this whole reaction must be multiplied by 61 and we have to add these two reactions so when we add this we will get k4 FeCN whole 6 plus 61 CeNO3 whole 4 plus 14K plus uh, uh, 39H2O. I will transfer it that side. So let me write here 75 OH minus, and here it is 61 into 3 plus 3. 6 is 18 OH minus and here it is electron I have written this I have written this this one I will write later on I have written this I have written this and I have written this okay so now we get Fe OH whole thrice plus 6 K2 CO3 plus 6 K NO3 and here it is 75 water and I have 39 water in this side so when we will subtract we will get 36 h2o because 9615 and uh, 36 h2o i have transferred this this side and here i will have 61 ceoh whole, whole thrice plus 61 into 4 464 24 6 24 no3 minus and i will cross check whether i have written all or not I have written this, 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 75 H plus and OH minus. I have added the subtract 36, 61 and 6 percent. Yes, I have written all. Now I will. What I will do is the. This is the final step. Now I will check the question to see if I have any more ions left or not. So this ion is present in the question I have written. CeNO3 minus ion is present. I have written. Now KOH is present. I have not written. But I will write it later on because. It is the most easy thing to do. Oxygen balancing is the most easy thing to do. So I will tackle it later on. First let me tackle the other examples. Uh, CEOH whole thrice I have written. Then the FEOH whole thrice I have written. Then I have 
H2. H2 also I will tackle later on because it is the most easy thing to do. Then K2CO3. Uh, K2CO3 I have written and KNO3 also I have written. But see uh, what is the uh, main thing to take away from here is that here the thing that is in excess is nitride ion. And I have to make KNO3 because nitride can only be combining with KNO3 in this example. So I will add equal amount of K plus ion in the both sides of the reaction so that I can create KNO3. So I have added here 244. I will also add here 244 K plus ions here. So once I have added, now we can check, easily check that here the sum comes out to be 4 plus 4, 8, 258. And here also it comes out to be um, 15 carry 1 had 258 so this both are equal and now I will write the final answer that is K4 Fe CN whole 6 plus 61 CE NO3 4 plus 258 KOH see the coefficient is very large that is why we should not apply heat and trial here because it is a very large coefficient hard to guess by heat and trial Fe OH whole thrice plus 61 CE OH whole thrice plus 6 K2 CO3 plus 36 H2O plus 6 NO3 and 244 KNO3 so total I get 244 plus 6 that is 250 KNO3 and that is my required answer so we must uh, verify so uh, if I verify this with the answer key uh, then yes so that is the required answer so uh, this is how I solve this question uh, thank you for watching this video